Okay, so today's plan is to polish up this um, purple agate nodule that I found in the pile out back. It's already been cut, so that kind of saves me a little bit of time. I'm, I am a little bit bummed that I don't know where the other half of this is at. Um, so I'm pretty sure I did not find the first half when I first sorted the rocks out back, but I'll have to check all the buckets and see if I can find a corresponding half because that'd be really cool but I don't have any high hopes. Uh, and then we're gonna polish one or two of these Rainbow Lattice Sunstones and see if we can get a good a good stone. And then uh, from there, we're just gonna, uh, I know for the Sunstones for sure, we're gonna be using the hard diamond wheel and then go down the line here, 220, 600, 1200, and I mean grits, and then go over the polishing wheel. And then for the nodule, I'll be going from the 220 uh, soft wheel, the soft sanding wheel, um, down the line to 600, 1200, and to, to the polishing wheel. And then um, I will be answering some questions during this video that I have asked in the community tab. So uh, if you guys wanna ask more questions, leave them either in the description of this video or find that community tab and I will add it to my list of questions to answer. So let's go ahead and get started. pick a stone out here. What I'm looking for is the natural imperfections of a stone. Most of these may not be actually jewelry grade. These might just end up being like um, specimens on the shelf. Maybe I'll do that one. I'll do that one for a specimen piece. Yeah. That one for sure. And... I'll pick one more. That one. We'll do those two. I keep going back to this one. This one is actually pretty um, fractured up pretty good. It's got a fracture going there and it goes all the way through. A lot of fracturing in here. So this would be more of a display piece than anything. Still a beautiful one. You know what? I think I'll substitute for one of these ones. I'm gonna carry it. So I'll do I'll do a I'll do this big piece here, and then I'll do this this small piece right here. These are the two pieces that we're gonna work really quick. So in a community post, I had asked my subscribers to leave some questions for my next video. So here we are. I'm going to answer some questions. The first question is from Ragnar Rocks. 
Ragnar asked, do you ever do any rock counting? So the short answer is yes, I do rock counting. The longer answer is yes, but it's kind of far and few between just because of my um, my home life schedule, my work schedule, the ability to take time off and if I can afford to you know, do longer rock counting trips. I do have more to add on to uh, rock counting adventures here with some of these other answers that to some of these questions. Uh, the next question is from Jared with Running Rock Counting. He asks, when will be your next rock counting adventure? Uh, I'm hoping very soon. I'm looking forward to going up to Sweet Home at, at, for probably the most earliest uh, adventure that I can do to go back out to the uh, Petrified Wood dig site. And that's kind of helped um, show people it's still open because there's still rumors out there that they're, that they're closed. Um, but the dig site's under new management, new owners. The, it's changed its name, so it's no longer called the Hollywood Ranch. It is now called the Old Marker Ranch. Uh, the new owners prefer that people call in advance, and uh, so I'm looking forward to being able to go out there and do some more digging for uh, petrified wood. I'm hoping to find also some more limb casts. And then after that, I'm hoping to go up to, towards Yellow Bottom to get some pyrite crystals. So those are kind of my next earlier plans of going out. The next question comes from Lawanda White. Could you speak on gem bone, please? I have seen some on it. I just don't understand whether it's gem bone or just a fossil. Thanks. So I will actually make a separate video on this here rel relatively soon. I'm gonna go through my collection and look for various specimens and show you the difference, the difference between uh, gem bone and non-gem bone. The next question comes from Rufotris Rooted Prospecting. Is there any instructional videos you have planned or have done in the past as far as ideas like a full guide to blank space, polishing, using a Dremel, what chemicals to clean which minerals with, etc., which you want to let your viewers know about. I love the informational stuff. I have done some videos in the past, uh, but they are a little bit older content, a little bit longer because I didn't, I didn't know much about editing. But now that I do, it's on my list of stuff to do to make a full how-to guide for a lot of the stuff that I do all the time in a separate playlist. That way people can always find it it'll be, and it's, it'll be much easier to follow and that way you don't have to sit through an entire 30 minute video to find one specific section. So um, again, thank you for your question. I'll be sure to uh, try to hurry up on that process so it's, so it's there. As far as the chemicals go, I have not used chemicals myself. Uh, I, should, I should learn how to do it uh, for my own informational source and um, if I'm happy with the results, I'll probably make a video on that as well. The next question comes from Lindsay C. I've been watching some videos on stabilizing rocks. Is this something that you have done? And if so, is there a method you prefer and why? So Lindsay, I have not actually done um, stabilizing rocks. The closest thing that I have ever come to stabilizing anything is just using super glue to kind of fix uh, my mistakes. <laughs> uh, that's the closest thing that I have come to stabilizing anything. Um, I'm sure I should probably look up on how to stabilize rocks because I know there's some materials out there that need to be stabilized before they can be worked. So I appreciate your question. That is something I'm going to be adding to my list of stuff to learn how to do. And the last question comes from Kurt with Rock County Adventures. Do you have any collaboration Rock County Adventures planned in the near future? The short answer is yes. Um, but I don't want to say what uh, the plans are just yet because things can happen and you know things can always kind of go sideways. And, you know plans fall through uh, but once things do get set in stone pun intended and we get things planned out in advance and I can actually have a set date of when these things are going to happen then I will be sure to let everyone know that hey this is where I'm going and you can expect this kind of content in, in the near future I appreciate your questions and if you guys want to do more st stuff like this where I answer questions during videos please leave them in the comments down below and uh, I'll start making a list and answering questions uh, in future videos.